welcome back to my channel so another unboxing today and I'm a bit late with this one so apologies but this is my second July box for latest in beauty and um, latest in beauty is a monthly subscription with a slight twist you get to pick your items yourself you can pick from um, three items six items or nine items each month and then what you need to do is once you hit your anniversary date so say you bought your first box on the 10th of the month the following month on the 10th you would get to pick again you do actually have 30 days to pick your items but you can't pick them until that that date comes around so from the 10th of the month you get till the 10th of the following month to make your choices latest in beauty drop items throughout the month each day of the month they will drop a new item sometimes they'll drop two or three from the same brand on that day um and sometimes it is a bit of potluck whether those items will be available when you when it's your time to pick however there's one item that is always guaranteed to be available for everyone that wants it and that is called the hall of fame item um, for July, the Hall of Fame was this product here, which is the Shizido um, Power Infusing Concentrate. This was available if everyone wanted it, they should, they would have been able to pick it. Um, I did pick it in both my first and my second boxes because they are only very small. They're only a 10ml sample, but they are quite expensive. As we go through, I'll put the prices that they're worth on the screen below for you. So it is quite a diddy, diddy um, product, but it is a concentrate, so you won't need very much on your skin. And yeah, they are quite a pricey brand. So next up, um, another duplicate. I've picked this before, but I wanted to pick another one, so I had a bit of a a stock of these so this is the easy tan hydro tanning mist and this is 100 mils um, I did pick one of these before so I wanted to get a backup and um, before they went out of stock next up I chose this Charles Worthington product and this is their everyday gentle maintain color vibrancy increase smoothness and shine protect daily thermal and weather protection and boost volume it's a miracle jelly leaving conditioner and i just thought that it looked quite interesting i know charles worthington can be a bit pricey if you buy them from like say uh super drug or from boots so i thought i'd give this a try while it was on offer on latest in beauty oh it smells amazing mm. it's like a really sweet fruity scent and it is clear by the looks of it as well so that's always good it shouldn't you know go white in your hair or anything but yeah my hair is quite dry so i do like a good leave-in conditioner just for when it's feeling that little bit drier than normal so yeah i'm excited to give that one a try i then picked up this nail polish from opi and um, this is a full size nail polish you have to be careful with latest in beauty because they do have different sizes um i know they do have some minis on the website but this is actually a full sized one and this is called um berry fairy fun I just thought that was a really nice colour, so I picked that up. I also picked up a Garnier Milky Micellar Water. Um, this is 400 mils, and I picked this up because I absolutely love the clear version of this, just the ordinary micellar water with the pink lid. And I wanted to see what the, the milky one was like, whether it was going to be you know better because i do generally use a separate eye remover just because i find that the micellar water it's great for foundation it's great for your base but i struggle to get um, especially like waterproof mascara i struggle with so i use a more oily one for that and i thought this one might be better for that so i thought i'd give it a try um 
Next I got the Fudge um, Purple Shampoo, the Violet Toning Shampoo. I actually wanted to get, they had a shampoo and conditioner and then this one as well which is um, obviously another shampoo. This is the Clean Blonde Damage Rewind and it is violet. Um, I wanted this but I also wanted the regular shampoo and conditioner but they were sold, they sold out the day before I picked this box. So that is what sometimes happens with Latest in Beauty unfortunately. You know the products are there one minute and they're gone the next. I think this is sealed. I was going to see if it smelled nice but I think it's sealed. Yeah. I can't smell it. It is sealed so I'm going to keep this sealed because I do have a purple shampoo I'm using at the moment so I'll only open this when I get to it so, you know products do generally go off after a while. And then the final product, see that was the six but this one I got completely free and this is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Hairspray. They gave out one free product with every box this month and it was a hair product. I think this one most people got but some people got um, a, a different product but yeah I shall. My hair isn't actually blonde but it's not far off blonde it's kind of bluey purple and then I've got obviously dark roots and um, but from what I've heard it's clear so it shouldn't cause an issue and um, you could use it on any hair any hair color so yeah I'll give that a go and we'll see but all in all I'm really really pleased with this box I got you know all the items that I wanted um, I got a lot of hair products this month because my previous box had hair products in it too but that was by choice because I've just been away and I wanted to give my hair you know a bit of nourishment it's already feeling a lot softer and I just want to continue that just to make sure that it doesn't get damaged before we go into the winter period and um, so yeah overall very very happy with this box um, to be honest, Latest in Beauty is one of my favourite subscriptions. Um, I've only been getting it, I think, since March. I think it was March. No, May. It's only been a few months anyway. And so far, I've been blown away with the products. With the They also do limited edition boxes. And the amount of things you get for your money is absolutely crazy. I don't know how they do it, if I'm in all honesty. Um... So this box should be £15. Um, all those full size items. You know we've got a full size, full size, uh, full size, full size. So those are all full size and I think the others are uh, minis. The Easy Tan might be full size as well, I'm not sure. But all those products for £15 and I actually didn't even pay £15 for this box. I paid £10 because um, I took out a six month deal and I think it was like £60 for six months, something like that. So £10 a box including postage for all those products. It's a no brainer in my eyes and then I don't need to buy lots of shampoo and conditioner myself. Um, I can just get them all in my box likewise with cleansers moisturizers things like that I don't really need to buy them myself anymore I can just use the stuff that I've got in the boxes Um, so yeah really really happy again this month Um, can't wait for well it is August but I can't wait to pick my August box I am holding out because there's a couple of products that I really really want so I'm not going to be doing a August unboxing, I don't think, for at least another week, if not a bit longer. It usually takes about a week for the few box to come. And I haven't ordered it yet because I'm I'm holding out. So, fingers crossed. Um, it is always the risk with Latest in Beauty, but fingers crossed. I get what I want and we will see. And I'll see you again um, very, very soon for another video. If you do like um, beauty unbox unboxings, then please do consider subscribing. I do have quite a few that I do each month. I do Glossy Box. I do Look Fantastic. I do numerous from Latest in Beauty. 
I do sometimes do ASOS as well. I do have an ASOS box to unbox this month. If I don't get around to it though, I will just put it on my Instagram, which I sometimes do with ASOS. I don't always have the time to film. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in a video again soon. Bye.